also I meant to mention something from the last um, live that that I did earlier I forgot to mention something that I think is very important um, about growth so I was talking about how um, you know in in my past love affairs <clears throat> there was an, a growth issue um, and the growth issue was based upon um, me not really being in tune with my own growth right so I was talking about that well here's the thing when we're in a love affair <laughs> it's so so important that we are not um, being mindful that it sometimes takes patience for your partner to um, start to grow. So I guess here's the thing. So when we have love affairs, we're in love affairs with, with another person, right? And they, let's just, let's just compare it to plants. So when we are um, trying to make sure our plants grow, we make sure that the soil is good, the fertile, we have it fertilized, we water it. All of those things are important because the root um, to the to the plants have to be in great in great order. So we want to make sure of that. But here's the thing: you need to know is my lover in the right environment for growth. So what I mean by that is, what does their friendships look like? Do they have a lot of girlfriends or guy friends around them that are growing? <laughs> Or are they around a bunch of friends that are not only smoking weed, but are amongst a bunch of group of people that are nothing but weeds? There's no life in them. Ah, oh, this can stifle your partner's growth. And so sometimes it takes a lot of patience, man. You you can be in a relationship and you truly love this person. Um, you love their their mind. You love their um their goals and everything like that but if they don't have the right fertilizer to help them to grow in themselves what i mean is environmentally what's their friendships looking like do they have friends in their life that encourage them to be a supreme self or are their friends okay with just being mediocre when you have a partner that has other friends that are outside of you those friendships can also impact the love and the intimacy with you and, and that lover so i wanted to bring this up because i know for sure i was gonna forget something and i did and it was it was patience here's the thing you know um we oftentimes don't think about how um growth is often I'm glad you're here, Kenny. I just remembered about patience, so I had to come back on real quick. We oftentimes don't think about how our love affairs can have so much um, either help it grow or harm it. Um, and their friendships outside of you and them can definitely be a, a huge factor on the longevity of your love. And I say that because... I want you to be mindful that sometimes outside factors can impact the the relationship. It can impact your lover's growth. It can impact your growth. <laughs> so what's your friendships looking like? This is important too. We don't really talk about our friendships. Well, all my friends are this and that, and, and I get it. But are those friendships really encouraging you to be the best version of yourself? And your confidants, do you have confidants that are really, truly supportive of the you and she or the you and he? Because if not, it's going to be hard to grow. Again, let's think about plants. When we plant our, re, our, our plants we love, do we pick the proper soil? Yes, we take them out the pot they're in, right? And we make sure we put them in really good, rich soil, right, to help them to grow. In the proper sunlight, we, we make sure we water it every day. All of those things that we do for plants is the exact same thing we need to be doing for relationships. What environment is your love affair in? So if you're in a love affair and your environment is not good to help that love affair prosper, 
it's very high chance the love affair isn't going to last. What's your friends looking like? Are your friends supportive? Do they want to see you and that your mate grow and be together a long time? Or are they really like, mm, I don't really like him for you. I don't really like her for you. I don't think you guys are good together. That energy <laughs> is one of the main ingredients to help that relationship to sour. And then you're like, man, I really thought I was going to have a love affair for a long time with this person. But for some reason, we're not growing. Stop. Think about the environment. Sometimes you got to leave. Eat. Sometimes you got to just escape. If you have people in your life or groups of people in your life, you might have to shut it down. You might have to shut down friendships. You might have to shut down family members that really aren't supportive and be like, this is about the me and you at this point. So let's focus on the you and I. Let's get stronger here between the two of us rather than allowing outside factors to impact it in a negative light. Because it can. It can destroy your love here. We don't want to talk about this stuff because growth, we only see as being the responsibility of our lover. But no, I wanted to bring this up. You also have to give a lot of patience for them to grow, but also look at outside factors that can impact their growth negatively or positively and encourage. We don't encourage our lovers enough. We always want to criticize. Critical thinking and, and, and critique is one thing, but to constantly criticize and nag and go on and on and on about what your lover's not doing kills, kills the intimacy, kills the love affairs every time. So um, we have to learn patience. You know, in love affairs, it's vitally important that we get past all the um, negativity that we allow to come into the love um, and I think that sometimes we just, we're not mindful that their level of growth also comes from outside factors. And here's the other thing I wanted to talk about. Sometimes we don't think about how exhausted our lover is. Is our lover, um, at work a lot? I'm talking about all these hours, 16 hour days, and then coming home and just, wanting to sleep and they're fatigued they're tired they're exhausted but you want to see them grow <laughs> that's again not the soil for that because their exhaustion and them being tired and fatigued and not getting enough rest and sleep really takes away from their motivation their internal clock and their internal motivation to grow because they're so overly consumed with that op outside obligation of work we don't think about these things, see? Yes, you're making killer money working overtime, but you're not really, you're really not in your purpose or doing what you really desire to do. So now you've done all of this, you're getting all that money, but you're not able to enjoy your fruits of your labor because you're so busy, exhausted. So you're doing all that time away from home and from your family. And now, you know, you got a, a, a woman or a man that, is at home and starting to grow in themselves and they're just really aggravated from you not growing but again <laughs> like i said patience and outside factors can impact your lover's growth are you willing to be patient are you willing to say okay um right now is not the time <laughs> because there's crazy overtime going on at work there's this is not the time for me to be sitting he or she down and saying you're not growing. You're not doing what you need to do. Da, 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 da. They don't have time to even breathe, let alone time to get it together in themselves. So you're trying to put all this pressure on a lover that's already overexerted and in obligation to making the bills at least meet. So again, it comes down to patience. It comes down, down, down to being able to assess this my lover isn't not growing because they don't really want to it's outside factors so their friends could be a huge impact their job or obligation their lack of sleep and health the finances aren't allowing him to go back to school or whatever there's all kinds of reasons the growth isn't there so sit down allow your lover to be in a space to hear. We oftentimes just start giving all this critical stuff to our lover and not really being mindful. Well, wait a minute. 
my lover can't really do certain things <laughs> because they don't have the time or it's not that they don't want to they just don't have the time they don't have there's not enough hours in the day they're working 16 to 18 hours a day so how are they going to have any energy let alone time to try to impact themselves to be more fruitful and more focused and purposeful in their life it's too much so then we got to sit down and look at sacrifices <laughs> yeah growth takes sacrifice growth takes oh well i'm gonna have to cut back this ot that means i'm gonna have to shut down some of the things i want to gain some purpose here hmm. not a lot of people want to take that call see <laughs> not a lot of people want to take the purpose call trust me they would rather do without purpose and enjoy all the fruits of of overtime so they don't want to do that they would rather no i don't want to do that i don't want to sacrifice you have to life requires sacrifice so in order for you to get to the point of saying okay this is what i want this is what i need and this is where my lover's at because you also got to look when your lover starts growing and building and, and focusing on self and you're not <laughs> there's going to be a gap of opportunity to which can impact negatively on the intimacy we don't talk about growth enough i don't think we also don't realize that there's a lot of ways for growth to get stunted not because of lack of desire either nine times out of ten it could be obligation outside of our control if we have if it's mandatory overtime and you have to have that job to take care of your family you can't just say oh the hell with overtime i'm not taking it you have to do what you have to do but once everything kind of dies down when when it gets to a point where the opportunity arises you can sit down with your lover and say hey what do you think about this or what do you think about that and how do you feel about this and what do you really want to do and then allow them to do that you know um that's why it's important you know i just wanted to talk about the soil of your lover because when we don't look at the power of the soil meaning the environment of that plant or that love affair to grow if it's not really being fertilized and watered and, and the proper sunlight isn't in there it's most likely not going to grow and that's because it's too much it's too many outside factors impacting that that um growth and so now it it definitely will impact your love affair to a negative level that you really don't want to have long term if you can if you know what i mean so again um not enough talk about growth in love man um and we talk about falling in love but <laughs> but what happens when your when your lover can't catch you because they're not growing they're, there's not enough to emphasis and muscle in their spirit to catch you falling so this is why i say all the time growing in love is important but growing in your sense of self and purpose is very vital it's a vital it's a vital vitality that's necessary for your love to be um to its greatest potential i'll put it that way because we're forever growing i mean when you're in a relationship your your relationship just doesn't stand to be perfect all the time you're constantly growing you're constantly learning how to um work around obstacles thing is a lot of times you know you see lovers that are <laughs> divorcing after 30 40 years you're like damn you don't went this long and now you're over <laughs> yes because there still has to be ways to which you both agree that there's some certain things that we got to work on and we have to see is our love affair growing in each other individually and then together does your vision still match mine that should be uh i mean till death do you part you should always be asking that question do we match as far as my heart soul i mean are we on the same on the same page so that's important again um patience patience is vital I'm telling you now you have to have patience when it comes to your love affair if you don't have the patience a lot of times the love affair is not going to last because if you're not looking at each other with patience and allowing them to grow and do what they need to do, you're going to fall short of just having that um, glue to hold you two together, unfortunately. 
So anyway, make sure you share this video. Um, also remember, tonight I will be going um, live and talking about the five ways to save. Um, and so our Kenny made something. He said here, um, he said he and his, his lady um, even discussed the times that um, they'll have time to themselves. Prime example. Yes, our Kenny. That's very important. Um, a lot of times we don't spend enough time alone. And once we're in a relationship, we don't have the time alone that we need to. So great, great thing that you and your lady are doing because when you don't have that time apart or alone in your own space, you really can't focus on what it is you want to drive to become. Um, and when that focus is lacked or lacking, then when it comes time to you, you two trying to combine a life together and grow together, there's no real centering in your soul and spirit about this is what I want. And I know this is what I want for me in place. So then that relationship is wavering and going back and forth, but it's really no understanding of, of self. This is the part of the roots. Remember I said to plant the plant, you have to have a great fertilizer, but what's the roots looking like? The roots are you and she, she and you, or you and he for the ladies, you and him. Y'all have to have a good solid root the root is you by yourself and him by himself or kenny you and you you and your lady separately the solid roots is what helps the healthy standing in the in the in the love affair for it to what grow right not enough people are doing this because most people don't want to um be apart <laughs> for too long not realizing it's important Great point. Thank you, Arkenny. I love that. You're right. You got to have that time apart. And um, it's essential. Um, it also is essential to be able to learn that you're not always going to agree. You're not always going to see each other's visions. But do you have the patience to stick with it <laughs> anyway? Like, I don't get this one. This is, a, this is a doozy on me. I don't really get the vision here. But because I care and I am supportive and I am committed to not you, but to my own level of self growth and, and I, I want to include you as my partner, then that, okay, that shows you without a question or a shadow of a doubt that I can now sit down and say, okay, this is what I need. And you are not feeling no type of way about it but you understand yes i need this for me i need our growth i need our excitement i need i need for you to continue to do for you and um our kenny great point you don't want to sacrifice that time alone because it really impacts negatively um the 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 passion that you'll have for each other. So that's a great, 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 great extra point that you added to that. Thank you, Arkenny. I appreciate that. Um, so everybody, like I said, I'll be on tonight at 7. I'm going to be talking about five ways to save. If you guys want to join me, inbox me. I'll give you the information on the event so you can come. Um, it's only going to be about 30 minutes. It's at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's only going to be like 30 minutes to, to an hour. Um, just to give you guys ways to save money um and and i think it'll be beneficial to anyone that wants to come and join me okay so again i hope i help somebody today make sure you guys share this video um because i don't want us to not remember the power of patience um in love you gotta have that man that's a huge piece because if you're not patient then you don't want to make sure your lover is growing um, and, and you can't be honest with each other about your true authentic self, it definitely, um, will cause that love affair to end. And if you care, you really don't want to see that happen. So, oh, also if you need a coach, don't forget to, I got a real good prices right now with coaching. So if you guys want to coach, don't hesitate to inbox me. I'll give you the pricing and everything right now. I got I got some really good pricing going on and some really good benefits. So if you really are ready to do some, um, you know, self-reflection and, and, and uh, work on self, inbox me. I'm going to inbox away or call me. 
My 800 number is 8445WISDOM, extension zero. You can get a hold of me that way too. So like I said, you know I'm always a coach. So if you need me, inbox me. I'm just a call or an inbox away. All right, guys, I'm out of here. It's Carla Nicole. <laughs> I'm signing off. Best cat. Bye, guys. See you later.